Hey guys, it's uh, Joe Glines, and I wanted to demonstrate a little script I had uh, written a while ago. I don't think I've shared it anywhere. So, uh, you know, I use, uh, I do a lot of web scraping, and at least I do a lot more, not as much now, but um, when I'm doing it, I like to look at the traffic in Fiddler to see what's going on. And often, it, it you know, if you, I, I know I have some videos in this about how much, uh, in a lot of ways, better, quote unquote, better uh, using API calls over web scraping is. And so what I'll typically do is use the browser to go create the traffic, and then I use Fiddler, which I've made a couple of videos on that, on how to monitor to see what your your browser was doing. So here I'm gonna refresh the, the AutoHotKey main page, and we're gonna see in Fiddler, um, that was the HTTP request going to AutoHotKey. I can double click it here and look at the, here is the uh, the traffic, here's my user agent. Um, that was my cookie. I'll make sure to change all this, you know, re-delete re my cookies when this is done. Um, but it uh, this is the actual traffic. And, and in here, I think we can even see like the web view often, it uh, it looks crappy, but it does return back. You know, we can see the data, JSON, XML data, whatnot, right? So if we look at the raw, we can get the, the information. Um, so, What's cool is I can look in here, especially the raw up here and say, hey, this was my info, right? This was, these are the headers that, so here, this is a header right here with, that's the key, the, basically that's the header and this is the value set in the header. Um, here's another header, accept and set it to this. Oh, that looks like that was just for that image. Um, interesting. And uh, it doesn't really matter though for this example. And here's another header, and I would manually go through and copy these and put them into my WinHttp request, um, usually one at a time because it was painful and you don't usually need all of them. Uh, but then I thought, why not make a script, right? Why not make a script that comes in here and grabs stuff from this window? So now I can hit a hotkey, and basically it goes and grabs that and converts it right that's the best part right it doesn't grab it that, that's nothing it converts it into my syntax for my api call right so it literally wrote the api call i could probably run this without a problem um so this is super handy in a way to speed up that process of trying to create an api call based off of your any kind of traffic I mean, it could have been the browser traffic it could have been something else right i have some other things like my query string parameter i um, if I had query, let's see if I, let's see if I can get a query string here. So, um, uh, run, let's do a search for run. Oh, no, it didn't use a query string. Uh, I would have hoped on the search, but let's go, uh, let's go to the forum board. Not command. No, not documents. I'm going to go back. This is, there we go. That's it. I just don't spend that much time in the forum. Uh, let's say I'll search for myself. Great, now here, now we should in Fiddler see, let's double click that. Uh, web form is a nice way. So see here, this is the keywords was glines. So that, that's the, the key value pair, right? Um, again, I, then I go to raw and I can look at it and go, oh, this is what was sent somewhere up in here. Here's the and keywords equals glines. Now I wouldn't want that in my, uh, HTTP request as the the whole URL, right? I'd like to parse that out. And so let's see if my macro script uh, will do that for me. So I'm gonna hit my hotkey. Um, I haven't tested this in a while, so there's no, okay, here we go. So it put in my keywords and lines, it ripped that out of the URL. So then it would get passed here with it, it has the get command with an endpoint in the query string. So the endpoint is that. Um, interesting, it had a payload. I don't remember solving for that and making sure that it had, let's see if in here, if there was a payload. Um, the one thing I, one of the things I like Fiddler is it's, it's not always so clear as what is the payload. Uh, here's your headers. I'm not sure that, yeah, I'm not sure if that payload part was proper, was correct. Um, usually the payload I think is on a separate line down here. Uh, and, and again, it's a get request, so there's there shouldn't be a payload. So I'm not sure what that one was. Maybe I gotta work on that, but you get the idea. I'll make this, uh, here's the, the refer, um, and let's go up in here. That should have been a header. Oh, looks like it didn't grab that one. Um, it did set the fiddler, so this is, if you're running it, it'll have it in, it'll monitor the auto-hotkey traffic, uh, but it didn't grab that header in particular.
but uh, you get the gist, right? It can save a ton of time and still needs some work, so no promises on it actually working properly, but it, boy, it can save a lot of time. Cheers.